yes in the last class we came to the last topic of this uh, solar geometry and radiation we were discussing about uh, horizontal surface how to measure uh, monthly average daily radiations monthly average uh, hourly radiations by using h and i notations and in the last class we started with the tilted surfaces so with uh, considering beta or slope s as an angle we started with the discussion on tilted surface now in this class we'll discuss uh, how to find out hourly radiation magnitude or daily radiation magnitude in terms of i and h uh, we'll see the correlations and later after completing this part we'll take the numerical examples on solar geometry and radiations so we will discussed also the beam radiation diffuse radiation factors or the tilt factors one second i'll repeat the radiation received by the given surface or the radiation per unit uh, area you can call it as flux received by the beam radiation from the tilted surface to the horizontal surface if you take the ratio then it is called as tilt factor so that is given by uh, relations and also we were finding that ratio as cos theta by cos theta z so one can observe here for the horizontal surface if the sun is at zenith without any inclination then we can call, consider it as cos theta z and for the tilted surface which is focusing towards the sun uh, that we can consider it as one of the theta with uh, inclination of the surface to the ground that is beta so only in the hour angle we are changing that phi into phi minus beta so as you know cos theta can be written as sin delta sin phi so phi we are writing it as phi minus beta to consider for the tilted surface phi minus beta the cos delta cos omega cos phi so in that again we are replacing cos phi by phi minus beta so this becomes the incident angle relation with respect to tilted surface and same thing if you consider for the horizontal surface i can find out the tilt factor rb b is the beam radiation r is the tilt factor so that equation is given at the last part next we we discussed about tilt factor with respect to diffuse radiation that is represented by small rd so small r represents hourly radiation d represents diffuse radiation so that entirely we are writing rd so this ratio is again the diffuse radiations received by the tilt surface to the horizontal surface if you take the ratio then we can write it as after simplification we can write it as 1 plus cos beta by 2 okay so as tilted surface and horizontal surface we are considering and this ratio is also called as shape factor so how much is the tilt with respect to horizontal that is called as shape factor so both these terms you can remember with respect to rd if it is written in capital r then we are calling them for the daily radiations measurement of the daily radiations capital r d and if it is taken average for a month we can write it as rd bar at the top you can name it as bar for the monthly average next part is if you find out the total radiation on the tilted surface so as in the last class i told you if the horizontal surface itself is considered it is completely facing towards sun with all reflection from the clouds itself we are calling it as diffuse radiation and directly the solar radiations received on the horizontal surface we are calling it as beam radiations so what are the scattering reflection uh, diffusion attenuation whatever is happening for the horizontal surface it is all due to atmosphere so there we are not considering reflected radiation as separately but in the tilted surface the reflection is not only due to atmosphere this radiation is also due to the reflection from the earth due to rock surface or the grassland or due to snow if it is kept in the polar regions no doubt we are not using for the polar regions the solar radiations are very less 
but there the reflection is very high for the snow and ice if you consider the reflection factor rho as uh, shown in the equation that rho reflectivity is up to 0.7 or 0.8 so then we need to consider that uh, reflection factor for example if you consider grassland or some other earth materials where the sun reflections are coming and falling on the uh, solar uh, collectors then no need to consider that reflection factor as reflectivity number is around 0.2 so that reflected radiation equation if you see rho into 1 minus cos beta by 2 so in that rho value will be very small and 1 minus cos beta again it will be less than 1 so finally checking this reflected radiation other than the snow or uh, other materials the reflectivity factor is very small so that can be neglected if the reflectivity factor is very small now coming to the total flux or the total radiation on the given tilted surface so in the tilted uh, surface we need to consider these all tilt factor values rb rd or rr all these values we need to consider in that case we are writing it as ib into rb for the beam radiation hourly beam radiation plus id plus rd so this indicates the global radiation on the horizontal surface plus the reflected radiations in the form of beam or in the form of diffuse if you also consider with respect to a reflected radiation factor rr this becomes the total flux or the total radiation received by the tilted surface so once again i'll read the full equation it or the total radiation hourly received on the tilted surface can be given as ib rb plus id rd plus you can call ig or i can write it as separately ib plus id into rr so same equation is used in the form of global land tilted radiation separately that is it by ig below if you see it by ig is nothing but the total radiations of the tilted surfaces on the tilted surfaces radiation hourly that is i is taken with the ratio of global radiation coming from the sun so writing this in the given form what they have done ib plus id divided by ig if you take i can write that ib as what is ig global radiation it is the sum of beam and diffuse radiations ib plus id okay so ib plus id if i substitute below if you see i can write ib as ig minus id is that clear ib rb relation is expanded there so ib i can write it as global radiations minus diffuse radiations that indicates beam radiations ib so i can consider it as ig by ig minus id by ig so ig by ig will be 1 minus id by ig this is for the hourly radiations on the tilted and horizontal surface into rb plus id is kept as it is id by ig for rd factor then last factor if you see ib plus id for the tilted surface they have taken it as ig itself global radiation so ig by ig if i take the ratio it will be 1 1 into rr so i hope this relation is understood by everyone it by ig hourly radiations on tilted surface with respect to horizontal surface to find the values so that correlation is given by again leuvold this equation it by ig one of you can unmute and tell me
Okay, shall we continue? Yes, sir. Continue. Yes, same equation. If you take the monthly average, so on the right side you can see the other form of the equation. So terms remain same. Only what they have done is on each factor like I T, I G, or R B, they have written with bar. So that bar indicates monthly average hourly relations. Is that okay? So now if you write the same equation with all the factors with monthly average. that bar indication that will become monthly average hourly radiations on the tilted surface why tilted surface because the last term the reflected radiations are considered for the tilted surface that's why this term becomes on the tilted surface so similarly for the daily hours you can ask what is the equation for the daily hours so that is shown in these equations monthly average daily solar radiations so here if you just replace that i word with the h h indicates daily or some books have given g value capital g or capital h indicates daily i indicates hourly so same equation again written here i'll read the average equation ht bar by hg bar is given by 1 minus hd bar by hg bar into r r b bar so here you can observe r is in capital means it is for the monthly average daily so we have shifted from hourly to daily hourly it, they have indicated with small r b now it is capital r b for the daily bar is monthly average plus h d bar by h g bar into r r d bar then last term is r r bar so in this rr bar if the reflected radiation term is considered then you have to take that row into consideration for different reflection from the earth materials if the uh, reflectivity rho value is higher than 0.5 then you have to consider that term okay that id plus ib divided by uh, sorry H, H, hd plus hb daily beam and uh, daily beam, uh, diffuse radiation divided by global radiation h hg so that you have to take into consideration and you have to multiply this rr bar if the rho value is high if it is very less or not considered or not given in any other form you can just neglect it so these two slides are almost similar only thing is what daily is changed with hourly so here it is da uh, daily with h value here it is hourly both equations are almost similar so now we'll take some problems so this will end our discussion on monthly average daily beam diffused or reflected radiations or hourly radiations and solar geometry now we'll see some simple numericals how to find out the different values of solar geometry angles radiations and other things so the first problem is visible to all solar radiation geometry so you can note down the first problem calculate hour angle for the local apparent time so local apparent time they have given for 6 am 9 am 12 noon 3 pm 6 pm and 9 pm so as we discussed in the earlier classes solar geometry if you recall the hourly angle equation is given by this hourly angle the first term you can see omega is given by solar time at the given location or the standard uh, solar time minus 
into 15 degrees 15 degrees for the given hour for each hour the sun will change by 15 degrees and if it is positive it is afternoon if it is negative it is the before noon or the forenoon so in this equations you can observe same equation is used but you have to take the time for 24 hours in 24 hours 6 am is 6 so 6 minus 12 into 15 degrees so with respect to hour at 12 noon or from the uh, vertical line from the horizontal surface it is minus 90 degrees means minus means morning 90 degree means it is at 6 am so similarly take for 9 12 or 3 pm find the answers and 12 noon you can observe 12 minus 12 will be 0 into 15 degrees means it is 0 so our angle or the angle made by sun rays and the normal to the horizontal surface it is 0 or you can recall it as zenith angle zenith angle is 0 or sun is at zenith so similarly for 9 pm you can add 9 to 12 means from 12 noon to 9 hours you can add 12 and 9 it will be how much for 9 pm 12 plus 9 is 21 so 21 hours minus 12 hours you take the difference multiply by 15 degrees so in the night 9 pm what is the angle made by sun that will be more than 90 degrees after the sunset we are measuring the angle so what is the time for or the hourly angle for 9 pm so find out and reply here in the chat box 135 degrees okay for 6 pm you find out 6 pm 12 plus 6 18 minus 12 so take 18 hours minus 12 into 15 How much is the hour angle? Yes, ninety degrees. That itself is opposite to morning six a.m. That will be positive ninety. Okay, next problem we'll see. so next problem read the question here this is very important question this will cover around 40% of the our numericals so here they are asking to calculate local apparent time corresponding to now just recall the local apparent time anyhow we need to find out so once you recall this local apparent time relation we can understand what all factors we need in the problem and what all what all things are given in the question see this uh, formula here local apparent time this is standard time so for the given country we have the official time that standard time you have to take plus or minus 4 4 is the correction 4 minutes so as i told for each degree change in the solar path there will be 4 minutes change in the clock or 4 minutes error will be there in the clock so that 4 minutes into standard time longitude minus local or the location longitude so we'll discuss what is longitude and how to consider the standard time of longitude and the location of the longitude next is 
plus equation of the time correction. So equation of the time correction, we know the correlation. If it is given in the problem, we can substitute directly or else go for using 9.87 sin 2b minus 7.53 cos b minus 1.5 sin b. You can use the relation and you can find out equation of time correction. Now in this sketch, if you see below, the latitude lines are the horizontal lines parallel to equator, which are the lines are drawn. These horizontal curves are called as latitude lines. If the latitude lines are above the equator, those are called as north latitude, north. So whichever the number is denoted by N or yes, south side means the lines are drawn south side or the north side parallel to equator. Those N and S values indicates in the problem latitude lines. And in the problem, sometimes they will give east or west. If the angle is given or the location is given with respect to east or west, those lines indicates longitudinal lines on the east or on the west. Is that clear? So coming back to the problem, they are asking to find out the local apparent time corresponding to 1330 hours or Indian Standard Time IST on July 16, 1998. So why this day is given, we'll see later. July 16, 1998 at Delhi. So location of Delhi is given 28 degrees 35 minutes north and 77 degrees 12 minutes east. Now one of you can unmute and tell me 28 degree 35 minutes north means which uh, line it is, whether it is latitude or longitude. Latitude. Value. Yes. Latitude. Yes, it is latitude because it is parallel to equator and it is drawn on the north side of the equator. So that is latitude means phi angle phi is 28 degrees 35 minutes. Next value given is 77 degrees 12 minutes east. So as we renamed already one term as latitude. So this east side vertical lines are nothing but the longitudinal lines. So longitudinal angle, if you see 77 degrees 12 minutes, it is the longitude of the location. Correct. So that you can substitute in the later form. Next is the equation of time correction on July 16 is minus 6. So minus 6 is already given in the problem. No need to go for correlation. So in this problem, correlation is not required to be remembered minus six minutes. Indian standard time is the local civil time or the official time of the country corresponding to 82.50 degrees east. So here, apart from telling longitude east, they have already given 82.50 degrees east as well as longitude. Both words they are given. And also calculate the declination. Now from the local apparent time, we need standard time on the clock that is 1330 hours is given. Standard time longitude is also given here. So st standard time 1330 hours is different. On longitude, how you are measuring? We are measuring by the location. So that local location where we are measuring the time is 82.50 degrees. Okay. Next is we need location of longitude. Location of longitude is how much? 77 degrees 12 minutes east. Okay. So as we need these two values in minutes only. So already 77 degrees and 12 minutes is given in minutes. No issue. Sorry. It is given in minutes. You convert that into degrees. Then you multiply with four minutes. So to, for converting that minutes to degrees, we have to divide by 60 or you multiply by 0.5 into 60 to convert degrees into minutes. Finally, in the main equation, you have to keep the Indian standard time in hours, 1330 hours as it is. This 4 into bracket, whatever is there, you have to keep it in degrees. 
So convert this 77 degrees 12 minutes to degrees. So how to do that? So divide that minutes value by 60. You will get in degrees. 12 by 60. How much you are getting? 12 minutes by 60 value. Point 0.2. Yes, 2. Means it is 77 degrees or 77.2 degrees. That you can substitute. So altogether, 4 into difference of minutes or difference of degrees into minutes. It will be in minutes. Plus equation of correction is required. Here they have given minus 6. So equation of correction, sign I will take negative. And here plus or minus 4. Here in the main equation, what we have discussed in the classes, we had taken plus or minus 4. This depends on east or west side. Is that clear? So on the east side, I think here they have taken minus. So both the locations are on the east side. They have taken negative sign. No issue. You can take it as negative minus six minutes for the correction. So finally, we'll get the answer in hours, minutes and seconds. Or you can convert the degrees into other things. So just tell me what is this four into 82.5 minus 77.2, which is which will be in minutes. What is the answer all of you are getting? Are you getting in 13 hours, 14 minutes and 48 seconds? Is it same? Yes or no? Shuprasad Patil. How much answer you are getting? Is it correct? 13 hours, 14 minutes and 48 seconds. Okay, next part is what we need to find out angle of declination. So declination in the theory we have discussed what is the relation for angle of declination with respect to solar rays and the earth surface. And recall that equation 23.45 into sine of 360 by 365 into bracket 284 plus n. So this value is in degrees. So this here, in this equation, we need only n. n is nothing but the nth day of that year. So which year they have given the problem? Just observe here. In the problem, they have given 1998 year. So please confirm whether it is a leap year or a normal year. If it is not leap year, then you can go for these numbers, 31, 28, 31 like this. So 31 indicates January, 31 days. 
February indicates 28 days. If you go for 2020 at present, this is 29. February is having 29 days. Is that clear? So for any time in the problems, if the year is not given, don't take the count of 2020. If you take the count of 2020, it will become 29 here. It may be leap year. So generally you take 28 days for the February, for the normal year. Then March 31 days, April 30 days, June 31, July 30. Sorry, what is that? Then February, March, April, May. May 31, June 30, July 16th day. So 16 they have added last. 16th day of the July. So total they are getting 197. All of you check the total once again. As per the numbers. Total number of days on July 16th. Without taking leap year. So that nth day you substitute in the angle of declination delta. So as per this problem, angle of declination is negative. Also they have considered the longitude locations negative or minus four. So in this problem, east side location, they have considered it as negative. So delta may be towards east side, it is tilted. So it is around minus 8.78 degrees. All are getting same answer. Sagar. Is the answer is same? Okay, so I hope all of you understood this problem. Only thing is what you need to understand longitude and latitude, which values you have to consider and day of that year for the given month, given days, what is the nth day of that year? If it is leap year, you have to check the February 28, 29 or 27, how much, how many days were there that you have to check. The next is if the time is asked, you, you should know equation of time correction correlations if it is not given. Then you have to use the given correlation or you can find out the equation of time correction. Okay. The next problem is the latitude of Srinagar is 34 degrees. So you can just note down given values and what to find out. So the latitude of Srinagar, latitude means phi, angle phi. So you can recall again the theory part. So we were discussing the latitude. So latitude is a phi, angle between the position on the earth and the same line projected on the equator plane. So that vertical angle is between the projection line of the same position of the uh, location, that is phi. So phi angle is given in the problem. 
34 degrees. You can just note on phi equal to 34. Find day length in hours. Day length when the sunlight is available on 1st July. So we need to find out for the 1st July. So if you recall the day length, so day length equation will go like this. TD denoted by TD day length which we found out like this 2 by 15 per hour change in the angle is 15 degrees and for sunrise and sunset two times we have considered 90 degrees 90 degrees so 2 by 15 cos inverse of minus tan phi 34 degrees tan delta delta is not given in the problem okay so once you use this equation for delta, what they have done, they have again used the declination angle 23.45 that bracket. So again, you need the nth value. So yeah, for n value, they have given 1st July and they have not mentioned about the year. So whenever the year is not mentioned, you have to go for the normal year. So go by this number of days for the normal year and find out for 1st July. So here they have given 187 for that 1st July. 182, sorry, 182 days. Or what you can do is, other way, if you know this 197 for the July 16 minus 15, minus 15 days, because we know need on 1st July, or if you know the number of days in the year 365, you can come reverse also, December, November, October, September like that, you can find out the number of days. So that n value they have substituted as 182. in this uh, problem and they have found out the declination angle as 23 degree see the angle of declination it is nearly the maximum angle 23.5 or 23.45 it's very near 23 degrees the declination angle means earth is making maximum angle with the solar rays and on those days in july the temperature will be very less because the surface is having maximum angle. If the angle is very small, the surface is very near to the sun. The temperature will be high. So maybe you can recall summer and rainy season. So in July, it is rainy season due to this more declination angle. Now this delta, you can substitute directly in the day length formula. So that is TD equal to 2 by 15 cos inverse of bracket. And check the number of hours, how, many, how much you are getting. So 34 degrees is given. Angle of declination we found out. Angle of declination is 23 degrees. So directly substitute in the main equation that is day length. And tell me the answer. How much you are getting? Rushab, just substitute all the values and tell me the answer, how much you are getting. 2 by 15, cos inverse of minus tan 34 degrees into tan 23 degrees, declaration. Rushab. Fourteen point two one nine, so that you can convert it in degrees. So once you convert that in degrees, you may get the 
वैल्यू इन आवर्स और इन मिनिट्स ऑल्सो यू कैन कीप फोर्टीन पॉइंट सम मिनिट्स फोर्टीन आवर्स पॉइंट सम मिनिट्स Any other answers? So, what do you mean by this day length? Fourteen point some hours. What is the meaning? one of you can unmute and tell me the details what do you mean by solar day length chetan Yes. What is the meaning of solar day length? Or what do you mean by fourteen hours? The answer is fourteen hours here. But what is the meaning? What is the meaning of this fourteen point five hours? nothing simply we have to find out the numbers rays are parallel to the horizontal surface no the rays are parallel to surface when basavraj when the rays are parallel to surface of the horizontal surface something is hidden in your words for the horizontal surface when the rays are parallel when the solar rays are parallel the solar rays will be parallel in sunrise and sunset time correct yes at 90 degree okay solar rays and normal or the zenith angle if it is 90 degrees then the sunset and sunrise rays are will be parallel that we assume but actually talking as per that sunset and sunrise if you take 90 degrees the number of hours will be 12 hours that is called as solar day length so for a given day for how much length of sun it was in sky so in this time if you see it is 14 point something so means in that july first the day or the sun was on the sky with 14.5 hours sunset and sunrise hours where day is more night is small so 24 minus 14.5 if you take that number of hours it was night Where the sun was not on the sky. The point is clear. Kashinath. Did you understand day length? Why we have to find out day length value? Okay, time is up. We stop the class at this moment. So next class, you should be more attentive for the class. No one is replying in a given time. All are taking extra time to reply at least, or can unmute and reply. If uh, 
typing is taking a lot of time with calculation you can unmute and just tell the reply okay so stop the class here